I'm Wally Kurth, and I'm spending one day, or actually one evening, with Tony Geary. Tony plays the legendary Luke Spencer on General Hospital. He's agreed to meet me here at Joseph's, my favorite Hollywood hangout. He's in the bar now. Let's go meet him. Hey, stranger. Hey. Come here often. <laughs> It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? It is. Friday in evening. Southern California. After a long week, can I buy you a drink? Please. All, All right. right. Two glasses of red wine. Okay. Cabernet. That'd be great. Now, when I do these one days, usually we like hang out for the whole day and we do like whatever they do on their, their activity. But since we're not really doing that, can you, what do you do on your days off? What do you do to keep like in shape? And do, what do you do to keep well, sane? Oh, oh, Wally, Wally. <laughs> I mean, what you can tell me on You know, so TV. many assumptions in this question. <laughs> First, that I'm in shape. Secondly, that I'm sane. I don't know. Days off are difficult for me. I like to have a focus to my day. Going to work gives it a focus. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I like to ride bikes. I rollerblade. I write and take care of my animals. What kind of animals? Go to films. Uh, I got three cats. Two little uh, Burmese guys, Marco Polo and Vasco da Gama, and then Chiffon Latrice. I know it sounds like a black drag queen, but she's actually a Persian. Well, now, I have a dog. Yeah. My wife got a poodle, and we refuse to cut him like a poodle, so... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's out nice. of respect You don't for him. put little dresses or kilts or little bolero tops on him or anything, do you? Well, actually, we did buy him a little outfit yesterday at the pet store. Really? Yeah. What's he going to be? Well, this is kind of... It's a fleece, actually. You know, they sell fleeces now for, for dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's going to be like a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing about cats is they don't have to be walked. And you don't need to have a backyard. No. You live... They're and clean. You, and do you have a backyard? Do you have a... You've lived no, I live on a cliff. I have a nice view. How long have you lived there? Since 1982. A long time. You know your neighbors? No. See, I grew up in Colville, Utah, where I knew everybody, and everybody knew me, and... You know, that 18-year period of my life was enough of that. Outside of Colville, or were you in town? No, we were right in town. You know, there were um, almost 300 people there. What did your father do? He was a contractor, and he started with a shovel and a pickup truck. Geary Construction's one of the most respected and huh. largest operations in northern Utah. My sister inherited and runs the company. Now, how often do you get back to Utah? Oh, well, a lot. I was just up there to bring my nephew down. I have a 10-year-old nephew that I spend a lot of time with. And I'm going up uh, uh, on Wednesday to bring him back down for the weekend. And what was it like growing up in Colville? See, I grew up in the 50s and 60s. Born in 47. Yes, I am 57 years old. In the 50s and 60s, it, Colville was more like everywhere else in America in the 30s yeah. and 40s. Very... Uh, boring <laughs> it was it was hard on me i i didn't like it it was pretty repressive i can't even i mean because you seem like such a and i know you spend time in europe you seem such an open-minded and just the opposite of yeah. a very conservative you know oh i always Mormon. have been that's why i never fit in see i just knew it was wrong i knew it was wrong to judge people the way they were judged did you have a close relationship with your parents yes very now what did they think of you uh Getting into theater and more. My mother said I announced at six years old I was going to be an actor. I was pretty focused on it. What was it about that? Uh, that I think it was about hating where I was, needing escape, uh, living in a total fantasy world that cre I created in order to nurture myself in an environment that was without, apart from the love I had in my family. But I mean, it was a, it was a very tough environment uh, socially for me. How did you escape that? Did you play Cowboys and Indians? I played Cowboys and Indians. I was like, we had an incredible fantasy life I was life always going on. the Indian. <laughs> always. Still am. And, uh, and I was perfect. always, uh, no, I, uh, more than Cowboys and Indians, I liked uh, Arabian Nights. Oh. So uh, my mother used to have a photograph of me with several of the neighborhood children wrapped in cheesecloth. You know, <laughs> <laughs> running across the uh, mountainside behind the house. Right. Yeah. yeah. Were you directing then? Oh, yeah. That was you. Sure, sure, sure. And they were looking at you I like, was instigating, you... if, not, right. if not directing. They were like, are you sure, Tony, you want me to do this? No, Tony? I had a lot of willing. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. You know, kids are, kids are not judgmental. They like, I mean, it's play, you know. I think it's the, 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 those kids who had a great fantasy life, who loved the imaginary world, 
and uh, and they realize, oh, I can actually do this for a living, and they that they just don't want to let go of that that child feeling. I think that's true. You want to have some dinner? Yeah, let's eat. Let's do it. Run it in slow mo. It's so <laughs> worth it.